We're going to render two scenes in Blender to compare NVIDIA GPUs to the new Apple M4 chips. We'll be using cycles for all the renders. For the Apple side, we'll be testing the M4, M4 Pro, M4 Max, and M2 Ultra. And for NVIDIA, we'll use the RTX 3080 and 4080. The two scenes we're testing can be found on the Blender website under demo files. The first one we're testing is the monster under the bed scene. This project is pretty simple. It has nine area lights, a small floor, a background. All the geometry is pretty simple besides the bed frame, which is a higher poly mesh. The scene is rendered at 1024 samples. And here are the results from fastest to slowest. Nvidia chips marked in orange and Apple chips marked in blue. I wasn't surprised to see the 4080 was the fastest with a 22 second render time, but I was very surprised the M4 Max was able to beat a 3080 with a total of 34 seconds to render. It was also interesting to see the M4 is slower than the M2 Ultra. The next scene is called Lone Monk. It's a much larger scene with a lot of geometry and textures. Most of the geometry is pretty simple besides some bricks and columns that are higher poly. The entire scene is lit from a sky texture and doesn't have any lights. The sky texture bounces both indoors and outdoors. This scene is rendered at 4096 samples. Looking at the render results, we again have the fastest render being a 4080 with 1 minute and 58 seconds. The M4 Max again performed very well with 2 minutes and 27 seconds of render time. In this scene, it beat the 3080 significantly. That's like 30% faster. Coming in last was the M4 with a very long render time of 9 minutes and 13 seconds. I've been using custom Windows PCs over the past 10 years because of my 3D work, and honestly this is the first time ever I'm tempted to switch over to Mac. The M4 Max is really insane, and it consistently outperformed the 3080, and oftentimes got pretty close to a 4080. Apple chips use way less power than PCs, and generally have nicer form factors. So if you need a portable render machine, I can confidently say the MacBook Pro with the M4 Max is the way to go. I personally like working on desktop machines, so I'll be waiting for the M4 Max to get into Mac Mini or a Mac Studio. I haven't seen any rumors about this, but maybe it'll be another year until the Mac Studio comes out, and maybe by then we'll have an M5 Max or an M5 Ultra chip. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and let me know in the comments if you're thinking about switching to Apple. Thanks for watching.